Good morning guys, I hope you're good. My name is Thomas Playmore. I teach travel and sometimes try. This is gonna be a travel video. Right now it is early, it is 5.30 in the morning. We got up at five o'clock because we're about to smash a childhood dream of mine, something that I've always wanted to do as a child. I'll give you a little bit more information about that when we get down to the docks because we're gonna be taking a boat. So yeah, this is a really, really exciting day. So this is the boat that we're going on around the Komodo Islands. It's a little bit of a clue as to why I'm so excited. Okay, so today we're in the Komodo National Park. Um, we're doing a little bit of a tour, so we're gonna be exploring around different areas. We're gonna start off at Manta Point, then we're going to a different beach and we're going to be doing a little bit of trekking before finally, hopefully, seeing Komodo dragons. It's be freezing, but we're trying to find one. Say a week and end a week and never stress a thing. No, we gonna go another day when we don't disagree. And when the sun shines in regard So, I can't lie, it's a bit scary in a weird way, being in the water on your own snorkeling. Claire's back on the boat and the water is so clear that you can just see for quite a while so it's a bit weird putting your head under and not really knowing what you're going to see especially when you're on your own Wow, this whole area is just so stunning. She's quite nice too. You can see the little dots of pink on the shell. A pink beach, it's for girls only. This is what gets mashed up into the tiny, tiny little bits on the sand. And yeah, you can see it's a bright reddish, pinkish type of colour. Now we're on Padar Island. And that bird that you just saw was just sort of hovering there. This is a really dry island, but I've got a little bit of a walk to, to do. And hopefully there's a viewpoint at the end of it. More chocolate cake. There's just a few steps left. I'm trying not to admit it to Claire, but it is quite tiring. This view at the top. What a view. So with the insane backdrop behind me, I thought I'd take the opportunity to explain why Komodos are my favourite. So, when I was seven, I used to get up really early. However, my parents would stay in bed until 9, 10. It was a Sunday, they needed to lie and get it. But for me, I was so bored. And one of the things that I used to do to sort of pass time, I wasn't a huge fan of reading, but I did like the world and I did like facts. So Guinness World Book of Records were amazing for me. I was absolutely obsessed with them. And that was one of the first books that I read where I came across Komodo dragons. And I was really, really intrigued by the fact that they were dragons and they're the world's biggest lizards. So from that day until probably about 15 when I discovered Oxalatils, I think they're called, I was obsessed with Komodo dragons. And I almost made this like mini pact in my head that one day I'm gonna see them in the wild for real. And it's just baffling that at the age of 25, I've been able to sort of tick that off well not yet might not see them but it's just insane Marta! so we've made it to Rinka Island which is part of the Komodo National Park so fingers crossed we're gonna see some Komodo dragons so it's quiet because we've turned up when it's actually closed so a little bit gutted but fingers crossed this guy is gonna show us some Komodos so that it's not just a trip wasted Yes. 
so scared of that. Jeez. But, so that's why now it's uh, easy to see, easy to see the, the big one, easy to see the big one, because, uh, you know, uh, it's really interesting because there was a point where we were stood and there was a Komodo dragon one side of us and a Komodo dragon the other and the guide person was actually a little bit concerned saying like you need to stand here stand there because they just sort of they're, they're a bit sneaky and they do attack humans <laughs> Move, 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 Stop, here. Move, 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 how incredible were the dragons they were just absolutely amazing i've decided that oxalatils axolotils however you say it they're no longer my favorite komodo dragons are just absolutely fascinating creatures it was amazing looking at the deers and their eyes were just absolutely beaming because they could see how dangerous these komodo dragons are and they look quite slow but it's deceptive we were really lucky because we've come at mating season and towards the end of the day i've seen on some forums and stuff like that that some people say that the komodo dragons are boring because they're asleep but these ones were really quite active and just walking around continuously it's a little bit of sad because it was meant to be closed so we didn't get to do the whole trek but we've got to actually see them when they were really quite active so today has just been absolutely incredible burn from the boat but it's ugh, it's just been once in a lifetime moment so thank you very much for joining me if you've enjoyed the video you can hit the subscribe button down in the corner and if you like the video feel free to press the like button and i'll see you in the next one guys i'm out